Recently, I was reading an article on the internet and this statement caught my eyes. I'm getting less and less comfortable with having Google know more and more about me. Well, two things come to mind right away, Android and Chrome. They know a lot about their users. Today's video is about a popular internet browser that puts privacy as a priority with no compromise in performance and my favorite part, extension support. Stay tuned. People who stick with Chrome as their first choice for browsing the internet share more or less the same reasons such as speed, syncing across devices, extension support, and compatibility. Brave is a web browser that checks all of those boxes plus some extras. Brave is available on Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. But you may ask, what is special about Brave? Well, among the major Chromium browsers, Brave is the only one that's open source, with a special focus on privacy. It comes with anonymous browsing features using Tor and DuckDuckGo, which are nice to say. Brave also offers support for nearly all extensions that are compatible with Chromium. I frequently test and use five different browsers. Brave, Firefox, Microsoft Edge Chromium version, Vivaldi, and Opera. Among these, Brave seem to be the fastest, followed by Edge. Brave and Microsoft Edge also have the least resource usage. Vivaldi used to be good in this category as well, but after the latest update, Vivaldi has become a RAM hog, just like Chrome. The four positive things with Brave compared to Chrome, in my opinion, are Number one, it comes with an ad blocker. I feel this is good for many people who don't make the effort to install an extension. Like Ubilac Origin, probably the best ad blocker on the market, which is just one function of Ubilac Origin. Number two, Brave has the ability to block scripts like Firefox. In fact, blocking scripts is the default setting. However, probably you know that some websites just do not function quite well with the scripts block. They need you to disable the script blocking feature, but this is a very easy task in Brave. Number three, I found that it really loads website a lot faster than Chrome. Using a stopwatch, it was found to be about twice as fast. Number four, Brave works a lot better than Chrome and Firefox on smartphones, especially on Android OS. Firefox is a very special browser with many fans, but it is currently way behind the performance of Brave on Android. So, does it worth switching to Brave from your current internet browser? Well, I can only speak for myself, but I jumped from Chrome to Brave a few months ago for both mobile and desktop at home, and I never looked back. It just feels more responsive and clutter-free. It was very easy as well to shift bookmarks, etc. over from Chrome to Brave, so to me it feels like I never left Chrome. Okay, that's it all. If you like this video, please give it a like. Thank you for watching. This is Hamid DLL and I will catch you in the next one.